Welcome back AACPS staff. In this video we're going to look at how students can get started on an assignment in WeVideo classes given to them by their teacher. In this video we're going to cover two different scenarios. The first scenario is if the teacher gave the students those starting blocks and media bin that we saw in the video on teachers creating an assignment. The second scenario is if the teachers just gave the student an assignment with a title and instructions but didn't include any sort of media bin or starting blocks. The students have the freedom to create whatever they want but they are truly starting from scratch. It's fairly blank and they have the ability to create whatever they envision. So let's start with that first scenario. My teacher has given me starting blocks and a media bin. So I'm going to select right here where it says continue in order to enter into my assignment. If this were the first time I were selecting on this assignment, that button would say jump in so that I could get started for the first time. But now it says continue because I've already been in here previously. So I'm going to select and it's going to open up my editing window here. And let's take a look at some of the areas that we have here. In the upper left hand corner we have our media. We are currently on the menu option that says project bin. So this media is what my teacher has chosen to give as a part of the project. But I also have access to the videos, images, audio, text, transitions, and so on that are a part of WeVideo, which means in addition to what my teacher gave me, I can add those other items as long as I'm not violating uh, the rules or procedures that my teacher has laid out for this assignment. Over on the right hand side we have an area known as the player and if I select on any media here on the left it just plays or previews for me over here on the right hand side so that I can see what that video actually looks like in its entirety not just the thumbnail. Then down at the bottom we actually have our project creation area. You'll see we have three different tracks preloaded here by WeVideo. We have a track for text, one for video, and one for audio that we might choose to add. And this is where my teacher has placed those starting blocks, what they want me to use as a part of my video. Starting with a title slide here, we've got a transition, and then we've got our first image um, of a terrapin here. So these are my starting blocks to guide me in creating my video. In order to add additional items, I would select on anything that I find up here in my media area and I would drag that down and place it on a track in my project area. I can also drag things down and place them over top of existing videos and it'll ask me if I want to insert it right here and push those items over. So I can select on that option and you'll see that that video is now in the second position and it has pushed the other items that my teacher included, that transition and the other image or video over after I inserted it there. The other thing my teacher gave me is audio and I can select on something here and drag that down to the and drag that down to the audio track in order to add that to my project as well. So building the project is always drag and drop. I can also select on those other menu options and search from what WeVideo has available that I might want to add to my project in addition to what my teacher has given me. When I am done with this project or done editing for today, I'm going to go up to the close button in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to exit out of this. Now let's take a look at that other scenario. What if my teacher didn't give me any media to include as a part of my project? I'm going to click continue on this other assignment and jump into that one. Now you can see our editing window looks much more blank. The students have a lot more freedom, but they also have to know how to navigate WeVideo to find the things that they want to include. We still have the media area here in the upper left, the player in the upper right, and where we're actually building our project across the bottom but in order for me to access any media I either have to create it myself using one of these options here across the top to import record or narrate or I have to access it from WeVideo's videos images audio and so on menu options down the left hand side so let's start with one of those I'm going to come over here to videos and I'm going to do a search
When I find a video that I would like, I'm going to drag that down to the tracks just the way we did when we were looking at the previous example where our teacher had given us media. If I return to my project bin, I have those options to import, record, and narrate, as we said a moment ago. If I choose import, I can choose things that are saved on my desktop, a USB drive, anything that I have access to from my computer here by choosing browse to select, but I can also search Google Drive or OneDrive by selecting on one of these icons in the bottom left-hand corner of this import window. My other option is to record right here inside of my project if I wanted to add something that I already had prepared. When I choose record, I have the ability to record from my webcam, my screen, or both, which gives me sort of a picture-in-picture -picture option there. I'm just going to choose webcam and then choose next. It's going to turn on my webcam and get ready for me to do a recording, so I can click Start Recording. Gives me a countdown. Hi everybody, this is my video. I can stop, and then once I've finished recording, I have the option to play it back to see if I like it. If I don't, I can choose Record Again, which will delete my original one and create a new recording for me, or I can save it which is not only going to add it to my project bin up here where I'm collecting up all the things that I'm putting into this project, but it's also going to add it down here to the video track in that second position after that first video that I had already added. We can also go through all of the other menu options and choose to include things like audio. We can add a text track in order to introduce the video to people at the very beginning. All the same options, but it is entirely up to me to either find the media that I have available on my desktop or my Google Drive or record it right now, or to search through WeVideo's stock media options that they have available. Once again, if I am done editing and creating this video, I can go to the upper right hand corner and I can either close out of it if I want to return and continue working on this project tomorrow, or if I'm ready, I can click turn in to submit it to my teacher. We're going to look at editing these specific clips in the next video, so we'll see you back shortly.